this year has been so far a sad time for content creators and you know there's a lot of things because of it you know it just sometimes it happens and that's life it happens and of course recently a lot of youtubers have been quitting you have like the biggest one so like lately map pack but this isn't like I'm, I'm, it's like it's hard to explain this properly because people are feel like they are like quitting because of like they're just done and stuff like that yeah some people are quitting because they are done because they achieved everything they wanted to do and they just they're retiring they most of some people have been on this platform for almost a decade hell there's others who quit they've been on this platform for over a decade it's time to let them rest they have lives some of these Matt Pat literally has a family to deal with now. Like, he literally said in his video that he's tired of talking about business at dinner. That's crazy, bro. Like, it's. And the fact is that some people are like, some, a lot of people are like on TikTok and stuff like that, taking this out of context to like, hey, everybody's quitting and stuff like that. Not everyone's quitting. A lot of most people are taking a step back. Like, like Captain Sparkles. People say Captain Sparkles quit. He ain't quit. Like, he literally said in this video, he just stopped doing the Minecraft series and stuff like that anymore. Because he's realized that a lot of the content that he's done with Minecraft isn't getting as much as he wants. Views and stuff like that as he wants. He's realized that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He's just taking a step back. He's gonna upload less. He's just finishing up his final one and that's it. There's nothing wrong with that. Even with me, Ken. He said goodbye for now. He's just taking a step back doing something that he wants to do. So like with MatPat, when he said he's quitting, he literally said in this video, he is taking, gonna be working in the background from now on, basically. And he's passing the torch on to someone else. It's like when the C, it's like when the CEO passes on the headband and passes it off to the CFO. It's like, you were made for this job now. I hired you here, so now you're taking the place. It happens, it's life. It's like when your favorite actor, they like leave. You don't see them anymore, or as much anymore. And then someone new pops up. No one knew who Tom Holland was before Tom Holland popped up, right? You knew who Jack Black was and stuff like that before, who were more popular back then. All the actors and stuff that you used to see before, you don't see them as much as that now. Because you're not focused on the new actors. It happens. It's like people have to realize these people are human. Like, they have things to take care of and stuff like that. So, when I see this, like, they're quitting and stuff like that. For the people who are quitting, I wish them the best. You know what I'm saying? They, they lived up to what they wanted to do and now they're moving on to something else better. They, they are able to do that. I wish them the best. Was to get everything they wanted, you know what I'm saying? But now, I guess the, it's the phrase that that a lot of people don't like. The show must go on, you know. It this now is like I see people like when the big YouTubers leave and stuff like that. It it kind of basically leaves room now for the new some new YouTubers to pop up for you to find other people as well for the small YouTube channels like even myself to grow that were inspired by the OGs. The OGs are always going to be there. Their content will always be there for us to look, love and look at. But it's time for other people to shop, to, to pop up, you know what I'm saying? You, we don't want to compete with them or anything like that. It's not That's not the case. We want to basically do what they want to do, but if they're there as well, they, we're not dumb here. A lot of people know that if you're trying to compete with the big channel, you're not going to. But that's why you're trying to make your own legacy inspired by them. So that's what it basically just is now. We gotta think of it like as it's a, it sucks to see them leave, but now it's time for other people to you know rise up. You know, take take what you gotta just become better. Like every, no one can do this forever. It's, everyone's gonna leave someday. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's not it's always gonna happen. And everybody's like questioning like, oh, who's next? Who's gonna leave? He's leaving. She's leaving. Mark Mark Pop gonna leave. If he does, then it's his choice. That's his choice. We just gotta respect it. Like it's gonna suck to see someone leave, but we gotta respect it. Hell, when like with PewDiePie, this man is out here, the, one of the biggest content creators out here. This man barely uploads anymore. He literally said that he's not gonna do that. But he has a family, and he has. It's like, what? Why does he need to? If you see him upload, it's hell. Hey, it's a good thing, right? But if he doesn't, you shouldn't be shocked about it. You know how much content creators I've seen leave. And it sucks to see them leave, but I understand because they have their own lives to deal with. They have they want to do other things. Can't be mad at that. So I don't want people to think like 
when people are leaving, that it's the, like the end of the world or something like that. Like something's wrong with YouTube or something like that. YouTube has always been YouTube. It's nothing. You can never change YouTube unless the person in charge of YouTube changes themselves. But you, you remember, not blaming YouTube. We can also all that we can do is just watch because most people are watching. Like this burnout. A lot of people don't want to do that. We've seen channels that they come big and then you, they slowly watch their channel just decline. And nobody wants that. Mark, Matt Pat didn't want that. Um, what's his name? Tom, I think. Uh, Scott what, didn't want that. So you can't be mad at that. They want to see. They want to. They, they basically want to be putting at the highest get, and that's fine. <coughs> Still getting over it. Too. But I don't. I don't want to drag this on too much because I just want to say my piece about it. Because like it happened. We just gotta roll with it. Deal with it. Wish them the best of luck in the life they cho they choose, and hope to see them soon. Well, when March 9th comes, when Matt Pat uploads his final video, I'll be there. Shoot, I, I want to see y'all there too. Show him the support and wish him a farewell. And you know, do that for everyone else. And show support for the people who are trying to grow out here. That's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my like talk about this because like it's a, it's a serious topic, but like it's not like. It's the end of the world, you know? So, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.